Hello, my name is Vidal Science, and I'm the County Extension Agent for Ag and Natural Resources here in Hidalgo County. Today we're going to get, get a, uh, uh, go on a tour of our 2020 Sunflower Variety Demonstration Trial in McCook. Uh, some of the ag agronomic information on the Sunflower Variety Trial, we planted seven varieties and we replicated them three times. Uh, the plant date was February 11, 2020. Uh, Mr. Hudson Pitter used a 12 row John Deere Maxi Merge planter. His row spacing was 30 inches, and we had 24 rows per plot. The seeding rate or the population was 15,500 plants per acre. We're going to harvest the plot in early June. We'll get the weights on each variety. We'll also measure the bushel weights, and we'll, we'll send off the seed to be sample for oil to a lab in Kansas. We'll have the results at a later date and we're going to provide them to the farmers of Hidalgo County and the rest of the surrounding counties. Thanks. Today we have Mr. Beto Anzaldua from Anzu Seed. He's going to talk to us about the different types of sunflower. Good morning. Uh, my name is Beto Anzaldua. I am uh, the owner of Anzo Genetica. I was given the opportunity to come and and play with you guys a little bit in a, uh, in a field of sunflowers that we've been able to put together uh, here. So in this field we have about uh, 12 different variety hybrids uh, from confection to high leg and on the confection side uh, we're looking to find the bigger healthier cleaner type of uh, seed and that's what the customers are looking for especially in the industry. And on the on the Oleg side the companies are looking to have and to obtain the most uh, amount of oil because that's what they're going to do. They're going to crush it. But also, it is also uh, right to say that not only do they use it for oil extraction, but they also use it as bird food. They feed uh, as part of a blend of different different products. They put millet, uh, grain sorghum, they put broken corn, and they also use not only high leg uh, sunflower, but they also use a confection sunflowers. This is um, this is confection seed versus um, high leg, and the reason I know that is because look the size of the kernel. See how big that is. So that's what what people eat. For uh, confection, and then when, then we go to the next one. See, this is see how the seed it's much smaller. So now you have confection and high lake. So this is what they get oil out of, and this is what people eat. Or they give it to birds, or they give it to parakeet, keats, or any of that. So each one of them has a different market. But in theory, what you're looking for here, or the oil people are using it for, uh, they want it to see at least 40% of this kernel. 40% of that should be oil. And so if they can get that much oil, they would be very happy. And actually, the industry pays extra for the more oil that is produced. Like we've, been able, we've been able to produce up to about 48% oil. So that means that almost half of what content of here is oil. And this is more for human consumption. And another, I'm just giving you, obviously you, 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 you need to know more about it, but um, in sunflower production, this is not the greatest, but in sunflower production, you always, uh, the uh, pollination is going to come from the outside inwards. So the seed on the outside is always going to be bigger than like this uh, or like that than the seed here in the middle. This 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 particular plant, let's go to a better one. Each one of these is a flower. Each one of these, this, those are flowers. And then the sun of that flower is the grain. So there are many flowers within one flower that makes this. So, so you're gonna see 
this kernel or this grain is going to be bigger than the grain here in the middle because it starts pollinating from the outside coming in. And normally <laughs> for flowers, the inside is, is brown versus yellow. You know, throughout the growing period of, of the season, we've gotten us close to eight inches ribbon. Yeah. So as a result of that, the plant has not uh, had to suffer too much. And so therefore we're gonna have one very good crop. And so therefore also the, the root system has not gone as deep as it could have gone had it been that it was really dry. So sunflower is definitely a good crop for South Texas. And it works really well, especially under droughty conditions. Excess water is not good for sunflowers uh, because it normally creates uh, leaf diseases that eventually can be detrimental to the life of a sunflower plant. We would like to thank Mr. Mike Hudson Peter, our cooperator from HK Ranch, and also Garcia Grain Trading for helping us do the 2020 sunflower variety trial.